Can we... Can we talk about this? With the release of Overwatch and the staggering amount of players the game has accumulated since its launch, I'd say the Blizzard has done a pretty good job in keeping the game, well, good. Sure we had Widowmaker that can rip your ass off from a mile away, and don't even get me started on McCree, but Blizzard got them balanced faster than we could say... Be... Beth... Bethet... You get the idea. Now, for the most part, nobody in the game seems to tip the scales. I mean, sure, Junkrat can make you blow up faster than Eminem's rap career, and I see you, Bastion. How about you leave some play of the games for the rest of us? I will eat that bird. But where was I? Oh, yeah. Torbjorn is a bigger dick than Moby. His turret is probably the most outrageous zoning tool in the game. Yeah, Widowmaker and Bastion can also be nominated for Biggest Douche of the Year award, but unless they're being played by God himself, they're always going to come up short to Torbjorn. <laughs> See that? That was a pun. And you're probably asking, why? Because his turret has 100% accuracy. It never misses. You may as well be running in a straight line like Recon Stark. Oh, that's too soon. Now, the accuracy would be okay, except for the fact that Tater Tot himself also exists. That means that when you're trying to shoot this fucking thing that's butt blasting you at the speed of the climate change that's melting the ice caps, this is a serious topic, please look it up. You have to watch out for fucking Gimli. And here's a fun fact. Did you know that Torbjorn's shotgun can crit you for 300 damage? Because I fucking didn't. To make matters worse, let's talk about Trap House's ult. At any given moment, when he decides to, him and his turret gain a ton of health. That's right, with the press of Q, Torp and friend can now tank more than Battleborn. Oh, that is also too soon. Also, be careful with Tibetable because he's now attacking with 50% more attack speed. Half the time, you don't even have to think. Now here's where everyone says, Outrange it. Which in most cases is a good idea. If Torbjorn is still wearing diapers and has an IQ of 6, which he probably does. But most Tornjons put their turrets in incredibly difficult areas to get to. Like here, and here, and here, and here, and here. And what do then, guy? What do? Now, Tapatio isn't a flawless character. If you can break his setup once, it's usually a bit hard for him to regather. And with good coordination, there's more than enough combinations of characters that could snuff out the Swedish meatball. There's a reason why he is a rarity in competitive play, but the fact that this compressed ball of assholes needs that much resources to deal with is bonkers. This man is Satan. He literally drinks lava. Do you know who else drank lava? Hitler. He has the second highest win rate, the third highest overall damage dealt, and the highest KDA in the game. And on console, he was sitting at a 69% win rate, which must suck for the staggering total of 14 people which play the game on console anyway, leading him, <laughs> leading him, <laughs> I'm sorry console players, leading him to get the first ever console only nerf. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Can We Talk About This? If there's something else you want to talk about, be sure to put it in the comment section below and I'll eventually get to it because that's what I do because I, I really, I, I, need, a, I need a new hobby or something.